great to be in the house of the Lord. Um, say no other place you'd rather be than God's house with a bunch of believers, and a bunch of friends and family. Um, last week, you know, Bill did the devotion, and whenever I asked him to do it, he asked me what I tried to do it over, what I tried to do devotions over, and I said, you know, Usually, you know, relative events, something that's happening in the world and how it pertains to God's word and what God tells us to do. So, uh, if anybody's seen the news this week, we know that there was another terrorist attack in Paris, in France, this this week. And, uh, of course, y'all, I always go back to this one verse, and I'll read it here in a second. And... Uh, talk about it a lot and, and, and it brings comfort to me and, and what I try to try to strive to do whenever these things come up, these attacks. And, um, so I got to reading here in Matthew chapter 24 and it's about things that'll happen before Christ comes back. And uh, the disciples just point blank asking, says, how will we know when you're coming back? And Jesus just starts going through stuff. And uh, <clears throat> it's a lot more than you can cover in one devotion, so I'm going to try to do several devotions here linked to this. Um, but this morning we're going to start with Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 through 13. And like I said, the, the disciples had just asked him, you know, what, what's going to happen? And uh, Jesus, <clears throat> in chapter 4, it says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver up to then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So, verse 6 here. There will be wars, you'll hear of wars, you'll see wars, you'll hear of wars. Um, it's going to happen. God said there will be wars. But the thing that we as Christians have to, have to do and have to count on is, he says, be not troubled. Don't let the wars and rumors of wars trouble you, because it is going to happen. Um, that's hard to do. You know, you think about it, and of course I watch probably too much news, and I know there's people that watch more than I do, but... You know, in the last three days, that's all that's been on, is what's happened in Paris. So, you know, it, it, it gets into your mind, and, and uh, they start talking about, you know, things that the United States is doing, things that our own country is doing that could lead to more terrorist attacks. You know, we're, you know, I don't want to get into politics, but we're bringing in Syrian refugees, and... One of the terrorists, one of the bombers in Paris was from Syria. So, you know, you're thinking, golly, here we go. You know, we're, we're just worried about being bombed. But God says, don't let it trouble you. Don't let these things bother you because it's going to happen. Because when these things do happen, and if they take us captive, which is going to happen one of these days, if we're still alive, we'll probably be taken captain, captive by some terrorist group, and they're going to want us to uh, renounce the name of Jesus. You know, they're going to put us on our knees and tie our hands behind our back and say, who is your God? And whenever we say Jesus Christ, 
they're going to ch chop our heads off. Or it's going to be worse. They're going to, they are going to uh, torment us. They're going to, you know, cut a hand off at first. Just anything to make you suffer for the cause of Christ. Um, God, or Jesus says in these verses that, uh, you know, nations are going to rise up against nations. People are going to hate people. You know, our own people in our own country is going to hate us because we stand up and say, Jesus is Lord. Um, in Mark, he states that whenever this time comes, whenever they ask you who your God is, not to prepare a speech for that because the Holy Spirit living within you will tell you, he will give you the words to say. So, you know, that, that's comfort in itself that if you're a believer, if you're a true believer in Jesus Christ, that if you're down on your knees and they're asking you who your God is, that the Holy Spirit, God himself, is going to say, Jesus is Lord. It's, uh, you know, because you, you, you hear about people that, uh, that have to make that decision. And you wonder, man, that's a tough decision to make. But it's not yours. It's God's decision. And uh, so we have, to, we have to know that God is in control. He tells us here it's going to happen, and it, is, it will happen. Um, he had this in mind. He had all this planned out before he created the world. He knew how it was going to end. He knew, he knows how we'll be tormented. He knows what will happen. And uh, he will be there for us as a true believer. Because verse, verse 13 sums it all up when it says, But he, shall that, he that shall endure till the end, the same shall be saved. So whenever you believe, whenever you uh, go out there and profess Jesus Christ, uh, he will take care of you. And... And if you're not a Christian, if you, uh, if you feel God calling you, answer that call so that you won't be troubled in these times, so that you won't be scared whenever you hear of these terrorist attacks. Um, believe, answer God's call and follow him. Um, so, like I say, it's all God's plan. Um, don't be troubled, don't be scared. The news media will put that fear into you, no matter what channel you listen to. Um, but know that God is in control. And uh, we'll talk more about this next week. So uh, pray with me, please. Lord, thank you for today, and thank you for being God. Thank you for uh, knowing what's going to happen, uh, setting all this up in your plan, Lord, before the foundations of the earth, Lord. Dear Lord, I just pray that you'll be with us and help us not to be, <coughs> excuse me, help us not to be scared. Help us to not be troubled whenever this happens. Give us the faith, give us the courage to trust you, to believe your word, Lord. Help us and guide us through these hours of, uh, of worship and study that, that we may take your word in, Lord, that we may absorb it and, and uh, learn more about you and learn more of what we should do in this world for you. In Christ's name we pray, amen.